Chapter 176, Uncle Niece Meeting As Yu Man Tian thought about that, he became relaxed and said with cupped fists, Brother, this third master will be taking his leave first. I have to find my niece as soon as possible. After not seeing her for such a long time, I really do miss that lass. He then looked at Ling Tian, who was still wearing a white cloth mask, and said with a laugh, Everything about you is good, your mystical movement techniques, exceptional martial skills and even your inner strength is a notch above the rest, except when being compared to this third master of course. I think your looks shouldn't be too bad either. But you just like to copy those irritating rich spoiled brats, wearing a white mask and still saying that it isn't the right time to tell me who you are. Aren't you too much of a sissy? You're just not manly enough. With a loud laugh, he left after saying his goodbyes. Ever since Ling Tian entered this world, even if he were to add on his experience from his previous life, Ling Tian had received nicknames of all sorts, not being spared from even the most insulting and derogatory ones. However, this was the first time he had been called a sissy. Just where did that come from? Ling Tian didn't know whether to laugh or cry at that moment. After seeing Yu Man Tian's horse disappear from the city gates, Ling Tian fell into deep thought. Along the way, Ling Tian had used his pure inner qi to help soothe Ling Jian's injured meridians and Ling Jian's injuries were already recovering. While Ling Jian's internal injuries were serious, his major organs weren't injured. This was due to Yu Man Yan going easy on Ling Jian. Furthermore, Ling Tian's divine shocking dragon formula had the same origins as the cultivation formula Ling Jian was cultivating. Thus, the whole process was much smoother and a lot more efficient. Ling Tian estimated that as long as Ling Jian took the right medicine when he returned, together with some nourishment for his vitality, he would be completely recovered within half a month at the very most without any residual injuries in his body. This was also the biggest reason why Ling Tian let Yu Man Tian go. However, Ling Tian's exhaustion on this single day was extremely huge. First, he sprinted 500 miles without stopping, relying completely on his dense inner strength to support him. After rushing over, he didn't have the chance to rest and broke out in a fight with Yu Man Tian. While they only exchanged a few moves, the inner chi that Ling Tian exhausted was still a considerable amount. Following which, he immediately circulated all of his inner chi to treat the seriously injured Ling Jian. Even if he was made from iron, Ling Tian was already completely exhausted. Despite his fatigue, Ling Tian's head was still extremely active without showing any signs of rest. Ling Jian's injuries today made Ling Tian feel the pressure to increase his own strength. While Ling Tian acted like an arrogant and bossy silk pants in the capital, he was also extremely arrogant in his own heart. He was confident that he was able to overlook the heroes of this world, even his own followers were the same. They only knew about their own strengths but were ignorant of the world. When he met Yi King Chen previously, that had already served as an alarm bell for Ling Tian. Now, he met the number three character in the Yu family, Yu Man Tian, and almost lost Ling Jian. Ling Tian could not help but be worried about what kind of experts there were in the world. Now that the storms were brewing in the continent and the various experts began to reveal themselves, the situation on the continent would only grow messier. To accomplish great things and protect oneself in such messy times, it was necessary for one to increase his own strength. Especially for Ling Jian, Ling Chi and etc. The matters today were just like a batron to the face for Ling Tian, Ling Jian, and those from the first pavilion. Ling Jian, and even Ling Tian himself, had always thought that while Ling Jian may not be invincible, it would definitely be difficult to find an opponent for him. However, a single third master from the Yu family had actually given Ling Jian such grave injuries. Then what about the second master? What about the head of the Yu family? Could it be possible that the Yu family didn't have a few undying characters? Just what kind of a placing did this Yu Man Tian have in the Yu family? As Ling Jian saw Ling Tian's gloomy expression and furrowed brows, 
He felt a sense of unease in his heart and did not dare to say anything. After reaching home, Ling Chen, Ling Feng and the rest all came forward to welcome them together. Seeing how the both of them were fine, they all let out a sigh of relief. Seeing that heart-wrenching wound on Ling Jian's throat, they all couldn't help but be shocked. Just what kind of a person would be able to almost take Ling Jian's life? All of them then revealed a look of hatred. When Ling Chen had sent a few consecutive messages to ask about Ling Jian's situation, these few brats were already extremely anxious. When Ling Chen sent news that Ling Tian had gone out to look for Ling Jian personally, they all put down the matters at hand and rushed over to the Ling residence at top speed. Waiting for news about the both of them, they had not eaten their lunch and did not even feel the slightest bit of hunger. Ling Yan glanced at Ling Jian before walking past everyone and into his room without saying a word. As Ling Chen saw the look of fatigue on Ling Tian's face, her heart ached and she followed him in as well. Ling Tian's meaning was clear, Ling Jian, those from the first pavilion are your men. I will not say anything and you can make the decision. After what happened today, you should have your own ideas about things. Ling Tian had a single principle. Regardless of what the matter was, as long as he assigned a task to someone, he wouldn't doubt the person's decisions. He wouldn't interfere in matters and would only look at the final results. Even if there was something important, he would only give some simple instructions to the one in charge. Depending on the scope of his subordinate's responsibilities, Ling Tian would definitely give him the corresponding level of authority. This was Ling Tian's management style. As such, Regardless of whether it was Ling Jian who was in charge of the first pavilion, Ling Wu in charge of the weapons factory, Ling San in charge of the violent wind gang, Ling Liu, Ling Qi, Ling Ba and Ling Jiayu in charge of information collecting, they all had absolute authority in their respective areas. The authority to determine the life and death of their subordinates was all in their hands. They only had to answer to Ling Tian. Indeed. After the both of them left, Ling Jian's anger-filled voice could be heard, what are all of you doing here instead of cultivating? Seeing all of his brothers look at him with such worry-filled eyes and breaking out in ecstasy upon seeing his safe return, Ling Jian was both touched and angry. He was angry about the fact that they came here despite his instructions to them to focus on their cultivation. At the same time, he was touched about the concern that his brothers had towards him. Hearing Ling Jian reprimand them, they all lowered their heads in shame. Then, Ling Yan's voice could be heard from the room, Ling Jian, bring your brothers back first. You must be bedridden for three days because of your injuries and you should not engage in anything strenuous. Rest well and make sure to nurse your health back to its prime. Also, Ling Qi can come to the Ling residence after breaking through to the fourth stage. Ling Jian acknowledged Ling Yan's orders, towards Ling Tian's orders, Ling Jian would only obey without delay. By the side, Ling Kai's face was already filled with bitterness, because he had not broken through to the fourth stage of the divine shocking dragon formula. As though Ling Tian thought about something, he said, Oh, if Ling Qi hasn't broken through to the fourth level and anyone else breaks through first, they can come here on their own. All right. All of you may leave. As Ling Tian said that, Ling Feng, Ling Yan, Ling Lei and Ling Dian all had excited looks on their faces as they looked towards Ling Qi, as though mocking his demise. Ling Qi felt his nose turn sour as he wanted to cry on the spot. A trace of laughter could be seen in Ling Jian's eyes as he left after saying goodbye to Ling Tian. After Ling Tian saw them previously, he realized that Ling Chi was already on the verge of breaking through to the fourth stage. The only thing he lacked was a source of motivation. Thus, Ling Tian decided to pressure him. Only with pressure will there be motivation. Ling Tian was extremely clear about this. With this pressure, it shouldn't be difficult for Ling Chi to break through into the fourth stage. On the other hand, Yu Man Tian had already walked up to the gate of the Wei Mansion. In the end, he was almost chased out by the guards as they thought that he was a beggar. Yu Man Tian flew into a rage. With a single slap, 
the guard began to roll on the ground, as Yu Man Yan walked into the Wei Mansion while cursing. This was still a result of him being merciful. If it was anyone else, that guard would probably be in hell already. These last few days, because Madame Wei heard that her precious daughter had been visiting the infamous silk pants with Yu Bing Yan, Madame Wei grounded her daughter in a fit of rage. While Yu Bing Yan had a precious status and she did not dare to discipline her, she was most certainly able to discipline her own daughter. Wei Zhuan Zhuan was filled with depression. Just when she wanted to state her reasons, her mother's wooden ruler had already landed a few times. Thus, she had no choice but to yield. At this moment, Yu Bing Yan was in Wei Zhuan Zhuan's room, the both of them having an intimate conversation as the sound of laughter and Wei Zhuan Zhuan's sigh of indignance could be heard from time to time. Hearing someone report that a burly man who called himself Third Master Yu had barged in, Yu Bing Yan was shocked and rushed out to take a look. She then saw her third uncle holding onto a wooden pole creating a huge commotion in the Wei Mansion. She then didn't know whether to laugh or cry as she cried out, Third uncle, what are you doing? How can you treat this place as your own and act without any restraint? Hearing the voice of his niece, he threw the wooden pole to the side and walked over with a bright smile, Ah, little Yan Yan, what a good girl. Did you miss your third uncle? You lass. Your dad doesn't dare to control me and you actually want to control me? He then stretched out his hairy hands, pinching Yu Bing Yan on the cheek as he said with a frown, What did you smear on your face? Go wash it off quickly. Your third uncle can't stand seeing you like that. Why do you have to reduce yourself to such a state? Yu Bing Yan swatted his hands aside with embarrassment and anxiousness. Before she even had a chance to say anything, this third master Yu had already turned around and shouted at the dumbfounded guards, Have you seen this yet? This is my beloved niece. Who dares to doubt my identity? All the guards took in a breath of cold air as they were all at a loss for words. Wei Zhengfeng and his wife, who were already prepared to sleep, dashed over hurriedly, only to see third master Yu with untidy clothes and mud all over his body shouting at the guards of her family with a look of prestige. Both husband and wife laughed bitterly and looked at each other. The same question could be seen in both their eyes, is this still our Wei family or your Yu family? Chapter 177, Bold Move Yu Bingyan was extremely embarrassed at the actions of her third uncle. However, third master Yu was still extremely proud and indifferent, pleased with himself and had a big smile on his face. He was extremely pleased with finding his niece. Third uncle, why are you here? What's with your appearance? Who did you fight with again? Yu Bing Yan asked. According to what she knew, this third uncle of hers was extremely capable of creating trouble and was usually grounded by her first uncle because he would always create trouble when he went out. Why did he come all the way to the sky-bearing city from Northern Wei? Even if her family wanted to send someone, they would definitely not send him. Yu Bing Yan was extremely depressed when she saw her third uncle's pitiful appearance. Her third uncle was already a Zhang Tian stage expert, even if he were to roam around the world, there shouldn't be many that could match up to her own third uncle. Just how was he reduced to such a pitiful state? According to what she knew, there shouldn't be such an expert in the sky-bearing empire. Perhaps, some other worldly expert didn't like her third uncle's arrogance and taught him a lesson. Hee <laughs> hee, it could be said that I snuck out to seek trouble with someone. Only then did Yu Man Tian greet Wei Zheng Feng, exchanging a few pleasantries before answering Yu Bing Yan. As for my appearance, Hayes, don't mention it already. I met two crazy brats along the way here and had a good fight with them. As for his win or loss, Yu Man Tian would naturally not mention it. Oh? Ah, uh, who is the unlucky one who third uncle wants to find trouble with? Yu Bing Yan could not help but laugh. Hearing Yu Man Tian stuttering, it was obvious that he didn't want to talk about the details of the fight. While Yu Bing Yan was curious, she did not probe any further. If her third uncle had won, 
he would have definitely bragged like there was no tomorrow. Seeing the way he was acting, there was only one possibility, her third uncle lost. Yu Bingyan also felt the matter to be extremely strange. Even her father had to show face to her third uncle. Just what kind of a crazy nut would be able to beat him up to such an extent? However, Yu Bingyan's attention was drawn to the person who her third uncle wanted to find trouble with. Who would be so bold and unlucky as to have her third uncle personally find trouble with him? Furthermore, he was in the sky-bearing city. It seemed like everyone who her third uncle found trouble with would definitely end up with broken limbs or bruises all over. This unlucky fellow probably wouldn't be an exception, right? Yu Bingyan giggled in her heart. It isn't anyone else, some pretty boy who is famous in the sky-bearing city. That brat is called Lin Tian, haha, I even heard that you know him. Yu Man Tian replied while drinking a cup of tea. Ah. Yu Bingyan was instantly stunned. More accurately, she felt as though she was turning into a statue. After falling into a daze for a long while, Yu Bingyan asked, Third uncle, why do you want to find trouble with him? That fellow is only a weak scholar, even she felt the words she said to be a little unbelievable. When Yi King Chen let out a loud roar, waking up almost half of the sky-bearing city, Yu Bingyan was also rudely awakened from her dreams as she felt her blood rolling. Even Zhu Ling and Zhu Fu also felt a wave of discomfort. However, Ling Tian and Ling Chen were both unaffected despite being in the same room as Yi King Chen. Besides, if Ling Tian was really a weak scholar, how would he be able to invite an expert like Yi King Chen to his house? Furthermore, the both of them even addressed each other as brothers. HMPH HMPH, your first uncle admires that darn weak scholar a lot. He actually said that both your father and I couldn't be compared to that darn pretty boy. I can't accept that and so I'm here to teach him a good lesson. In front of his beloved niece, Yu Man Tian actually did not call himself third master. Yu Bing Yan couldn't help but be frustrated in her heart. Even if Ling Tian had exceptional martial arts, how could he be compared to someone like her third uncle and Yi King Chen? Besides, her third uncle didn't know how to control his strength. It would still be okay if he liked Ling Tian, but if he didn't like Ling Tian, he would probably completely beat him up. At that time, just what should she do? Hayes, this fellow can create trouble for me even when he is at home. Yu Bing Yan was extremely worried for Ling Tian, but didn't know that the crazy brat, who reduced her uncle into such a pitiful state, was the beloved weak scholar in her heart. Hearing the commotion on the outside die down, Ling Tian knew that Ling Jian and the rest must have left already. Ling Tian then let out a long breath, as he felt his whole body full of fatigue. However, a voice in his heart told him that he must not fall asleep now and his present state really didn't allow him to fall asleep now. After a day of sprinting and fighting, it had almost exhausted all of his inner strength. Furthermore, Ling Jian's critical injuries did not allow for any delays, lest he was unable to take another step forward in his martial arts. As such, Ling Tian forced himself to treat Ling Jian's injuries, not letting himself rest for the whole day. At this moment, he was already at the stage where the mountain and rivers were exhausted. If he fell asleep now, his inner strength would be stagnant for life. But if he cultivated now to recover, he would definitely experience a great improvement. Stand up from destruction, rise up from the ashes. This was a precious lesson that Ling Tian had learned from the countless life and death battles in his previous life. Every time his inner chi was exhausted, as long as he would be able to endure circulating his inner chi, his inner chi would definitely experience growth. While Ling Tian only crossed a few blows with Yu Man Tian, the both of them were completely competing in inner strength. Yu Man Tian's violent inner strength left a deep impression on Ling Tian's heart. Together with the inner strength competition he previously had with Yi King Chen, Ling Tian finally felt a shred of inspiration. Ling Tian could finally feel the sign that his divine shocking dragon formula was about to experience a breakthrough. After instructing Ling Chen to protect him, 
Ling Tian sat down cross-legged and quickly entered into a meditative state. All these years, Ling Tian would circulate his inner strength every day, and he had already reached the degree of inner qi required to achieve his breakthrough two years ago. However, he was stuck at a bottleneck for some reason, unable to achieve a qualitative change in his inner qi. Today, he had a sudden flash of inspiration and the chance for a breakthrough was right in front of him. How would Ling Tian let go of such an opportunity? He then forced his fatigued body into meditation. After a short while later, he suddenly felt a warm feeling rising from his inner core, as the meridians all over his body started to ache. After the warmth of his inner core began to grow, inner qi started to trickle towards his inner core from the meridians all over his body. Following that, a small whirlpool of inner qi was formed in his inner core, gradually spinning faster and faster as the attractive force began to grow stronger. In a few short breaths, this whirlpool was already spinning at a frightening speed, as the inner qi from all over his body was completely sucked into this whirlpool. At this moment, Ling Tian could feel a bloated pain coming from his inner core, as though the degree of inner qi in his inner core was at the maximum of the seventh stage. If he chose to attack the boundary of the eighth stage now, Ling Tian was certain that he would definitely succeed. However, Ling Tian felt a sense of unwillingness in his heart. All these years, he had never stopped cultivating and the latent potential in his body was definitely much more than that. Despite being stuck at the current stage, the amount of inner qi he accumulated should have been more than enough to break through into the eighth stage. Now that he had such an opportunity, would he only use it to break through into the eighth stage? There are talents all over the world with many far exceeding me. To attain the goals in my heart, I must definitely take a gamble. With that thought, Ling Tian grid his teeth and dispersed all the inner qi in his inner core. Meridians clashing. This was the special cultivation method of the ninth stage of the divine shocking dragon formula. After gathering all the inner qi to form a whirlpool, the inner qi would then be dispersed for it to clash against the meridians of his body to ensure that the flow in his meridians would be completely smooth. All of his inner qi would then be circulated back into his inner core, breaking through into the ninth stage in a single step. However, this method was limited to the eighth stage of the divine shocking dragon formula. Only when he was at the peak of the eighth stage would he be qualified to try it. If his cultivation was not at that stage, he might shatter all of his meridians, perishing from it. Even if he was at the peak of the eighth stage, there was less than 10 to 20 percent chance for him to succeed. The dangers of this could be easily imagined. In his previous life, he would only be considered to be at the Xiantian stage if he could break through into the ninth stage. In his previous life, there were hundreds of people who cultivated the divine shocking dragon formula but almost none who entered the ninth stage. While Ling Tian had the advantage of crossing through worlds and cultivating Xian Tian Qi from the start, the state of his spirit was far from a cultivator who achieved the Xian Tian stage through bitter cultivation. It wouldn't be too much to say that they were worlds apart. The only reason why Ling Tian dared to attack the ninth stage was that his own inner qi was already the purest Xian Tian Qi. This was completely different from one attacking the ninth stage with a Hu Tian physique. Furthermore, while Ling Tian did not make any progress in his divine shocking dragon formula in the recent years, his inner strength was still increasing every day. Thus, Ling Tian was confident and dared to attack the ninth stage of the Divine Shocking Dragon Formula. Chapter 178, Ninth Stage Shocking Dragon A wave of pain could be felt from his meridians, as though they were about to be torn apart. Ling Tian suddenly realized that he had forgotten something important. His inner qi trickled into his inner core slowly at the start with the majority of his inner qi flowing into his inner core from the attraction of the whirlpool. The whole process took an extremely long period of time. To suddenly disperse the whirlpool formed by the inner qi, it was like a shocked dragon going into a crazed state, rampaging through all of his meridians. For his originally calm meridians to suffer such a shock, how was it possible for them to not be destroyed? 
How is it possible for his meridians to not be damaged? Ling Tian finally understood why those who attacked the ninth stage in his past life would die from their meridians being ruptured. However, it was already too late. At this moment, it was useless to regret. Since he had decided to make such a risky move, he must bear the consequences. Since regret was useless, the best thing for him to do was to find a way to survive. Ling Tian forcefully bore with the pain in his body, in this instant, Ling Tian felt as though all of his meridians were ruptured as his skin became bloated. His vessels could be seen surfacing on his skin as blood droplets seeped out from his skin. At this moment, only a small amount of his inner qi had been dispersed from his inner core. Ling Chen was seated by the door, looking at Ling Tian cultivate with a sweet smile on her face. Looking at the focused look of her beloved man, Ling Chen felt a sense of tranquility and fortune in her heart. All of a sudden, Ling Chen's eyes widened in shock. She saw Ling Tian's face contort in pain as his skin began to bloat up. Then, blood seeped out from his skin slowly, gradually increasing over time. After being nurtured by Ling Tian over the years, Ling Chen was already extremely familiar with Ling Tian's divine shocking dragon formula. While she knew that such a situation would happen when Ling Tian tried to break through into the ninth stage, she could not help but be startled in her heart. She then suddenly remembered Ling Tian's instructions, cold and heat will stimulate each other and the positive and negative will complement each other. Chenner, when I attack the ninth stage, I probably can't do it without you. Without any hesitation, her body appeared in front of Ling Tian as she placed her palm on Ling Yan's chest. Exerting some force, a wave of cold inner qi was transmitted. Ling Tian cried out bitterly in his heart. The inner qi in my body was already too much to begin with. Of all times to come, you choose to intervene at such a time. I am really suffering from my own deeds. But at that moment, Ling Tian was using all of his energy to suppress the chaotic inner qi rushing at his meridians and could not speak. It was difficult for him to even move his lips. The moment Ling Chen's inner qi entered Ling Tian's body, it broke up into a few waves and flowed to his meridians along with his own inner qi. The pressure his meridians were suffering from was already at its extreme. Cracks could already be seen on his skin as blood oozed out. The meridians on his body were already about to be ruptured. Ling Chen's face was filled with tears as she continued to transmit her inner qi into Ling Tian's body. Suddenly, the chaotic inner qi in Ling Tian's body seemed to have detected Ling Chen's ice-cold inner qi and began to return to his inner core in a fit of rage. It was like ice suddenly being added to a pot of boiling oil. With the addition of something cold, the boiling oil would definitely evaporate this piece of ice before restoring its original boiling state. If Ling Tian's body was like the boiling oil, the inner qi transmitted by Ling Chen was like the ice cube. Upon contact, Ling Chen was exposed to a full force attack of qi from Ling Tian. She let out a groan as her body flew into the air, spitting out a glob of blood in midair. Her body then slammed into the wall before she rebounded onto the ground. With her last shred of consciousness, she looked at Ling Tian again and realized that while Ling Tian's face was still red, his skin no longer showed signs of being ruptured. She then felt a sense of ease as she fell unconscious again. Ling Tian felt that there was a short gap when all of his inner qi flowed back to his inner core. Although he knew that Ling Chen was seriously injured, Ling Tian couldn't stop. The moment his inner qi went crazy again, he would no longer have the ability to turn the situation around. Thus, he suppressed the worry he had for Ling Chen. He would only be able to save his lover after saving himself. This feeling of love would usually cause an inexplicable strength to burst forth, creating a miracle. The phrase, to survive for love, was indeed true. Ling Tian knew that the only reason why things took a turn for the better was that Ling Chen risked her life for him. This was also his final chance. If he didn't grasp it, not only would he die, Ling Chen would probably die as well. His mind suddenly seemed to have cleared up, as though he had a flash of inspiration. 
In such a crucial moment, rashness would only cause mistakes. Only by being calm and relying on his wisdom would he be able to grasp the chance of survival. At this moment, Ling Tian finally understood why the Ling family had two martial formulas. Despite having the invincible divine shocking dragon formula, why did they still have the divine ice formula which only a female could cultivate? Furthermore, why did their ancestors' teachings specify that the ladies of the Ling family must cultivate the divine ice formula? So this was the reason. Ling Tian then circulated the only trace of inner qi that he could control. Bearing with the pain, he forced the inner qi to flow backward, urging all of his inner qi to gather back in his inner core while repairing his meridians. For his inner qi to regain its smooth flow again and his head to clear up, the joy in his heart was something indescribable by words. However, this was only the start. After regaining the control of his inner qi, he forced it to circulate back into his inner core again and finally formed another whirlpool. Ling Tian was surprised to realize that his meridians were actually at least two times wider than before. If his meridians before were streams on a mountain, his meridians were now definitely like a river. Controlling the whirlpool of inner qi carefully, his inner core was slowly completely filled up again. Ling Tian then let go of his control suddenly and his inner qi became like a frenzied crazed dragon breaking through into the eighth stage of the divine shocking dragon formula. The remaining inner qi then continued to rush into his meridians, making a full circulation in his meridians, stopping at the Guan Yu on acute point before rushing back into his inner core again. So it was here. Ling Tian thought to himself as his inner qi began to gather back into his inner core before sending it towards his meridians again. Ling Tian finally understood the true purpose of sending his inner qi on a rampage in his meridians. If he did not widen his meridians, his original meridians would definitely not be able to endure the vast amount of spiritual qi when attacking the ninth stage. He would then be in trouble for sure. Thankfully she was there. But, I can't stop now. First time. Second time, nineteenth time. Ling Tian went all out attacking the ninth stage time and time again, making his body feel a wave of excruciating pain every time he attacked the ninth stage. At the very end, it seemed as though Ling Tian was already numb to the pain, subconsciously attacking the ninth stage without any other thought. Finally, Ling Tian felt a loud bang as his vast inner chi smashed through the ninth stage, like a lost child running back into Ling Tian's embrace. Not only did Ling Tian not feel any pain, he felt a sense of warmth and excitement. After circulating his inner qi, Ling Tian was surprised to realize that he had more than two times the inner qi as before. In just a short while, Ling Tian had circulated his inner qi 36 times and successfully stabilized his foundation. Opening his eyes gradually, he felt as though two bolts of electricity were shot out from his eyes. Suddenly, a colorful world was displayed right in front of him. While he was in the dark, Ling Tian could clearly see every corner of the room, even the dust floating in the air. Ling Tian was shocked to realize that even these things had their own colors. The whole world seemed to be filled with life. As he looked out of the window at the swaying bamboos, he could see the different veins of every leaf and hear the earthworm groveling in the earth. All of this gave Ling Tian a completely new experience. Even with Ling Tian's two lifetimes of experience, he couldn't help but feel his heart palpitate with excitement at this moment. So this is the so-called Xian Tian stage? The feeling of Xian Tian? He suddenly thought about Ling Chen and looked over at her quickly, only to see that she was already awake. You have to understand that Ling Chen had received the personal tutelage of Ling Tian and her cultivation was a notch higher than Ling Jian's. While that impact was something unexpected and caused internal injuries, it wasn't enough to take her life. However, this lass actually fainted from anxiousness. She stood up forcefully, with her back leaning against the wall and tears rolling down her cheek. However, a bright smile could be seen on her face looking at Ling Tian with a sense of satisfaction and joy. 
Ling Tian felt a sense of warmth in his heart as he grabbed her into his embrace. After a long while, he said, My Chenner, what a foolish lass. Ling Chen was no longer able to hold back from the shock as her tears formed rivers on her face. At this moment, she could finally feel that the most beloved person in her life did not leave her. She could not help but shed tears of joy. Thinking about the desperation she previously felt, she could not help but cry even harder. At this moment, she really felt a sense of fear from before. Chapter 179, Gentle Feelings Ling Tian let out a sigh and stroked Ling Chen's hair while kissing her on the forehead. He then placed his hands on her wrist and realized that Ling Chen's injuries weren't light at all. Hugging his beloved lady, Ling Tian transmitted a wave of warm inner qi, slowly repairing her damaged meridians while tending to her internal injuries. With the might of the ninth level of the Divine Shocking Dragon formula and Ling Chen's own inner qi, Ling Chen's internal injuries recovered at a swift pace. In the process of treating Ling Chen, Ling Tian could see, or rather, feel, every oddity in Ling Chen's meridians. He couldn't help but be elated as he guided her inner qi along her meridians after her injuries were fully treated. After a long while later, Ling Tian finally stopped circulating his inner qi. At this moment, Ling Chen's divine ice formula had reached the peak of the sixth stage with Ling Tian's aid. She was only lacking a suitable opportunity to make a breakthrough. Ling Tian could finally relax. Being at ease. Ling Tian suddenly felt Ling Chen acting a little strange. Ling Chen's body was frighteningly warm and her face was an abnormal shade of red. Her eyes were squinted and her breath heavy, as her jade-like arms tangled around Ling Yan's waist. How would Ling Yan know that when he placed his hands on her inner core to treat her injuries, Ling Chen immediately had strange thoughts. While she understood that Ling Tian only wanted to treat her injuries, she wasn't able to control the burning desire of her youth. Furthermore, after witnessing Ling Yan's near-death experience, a sense of fear rose in her heart. Thinking about how Ling Tian was covered in blood almost all over him, Ling Chen felt a sense of despair from the possibility of losing her beloved man. Such a sense of despair made Ling Chen throw away her reservations as a young lady. As a lady, the happiest thing in her life would definitely be to present her pure body to her beloved man. Ling Chen was filled with such a thought at this moment. Furthermore, Ling Chen also didn't know whether to laugh or cry at her young noble's actions. An ordinary young master like Ling Tian should already have a house full of wives at his age, much less remain a virgin like Ling Tian. However, Ling Tian only had the title of the number one silk pants running to the brothel every now and then, but being even more awkward with regards to the things between man and woman. Ling Chen had already stomped her feet far too many times, grit her teeth and cursed Ling Tian many times in her heart for being a clueless idiot. A completely clueless idiot from head to toe. Ling Tian immediately understood why Ling Chen was acting as such and could not help but be placed in a dilemma. Just what should he do? Ling Tian would definitely not mind taking Ling Chen right at this moment. In his heart, Ling Chen was already his woman and his beloved wife. It was only a matter of time and a ritual to him. After all, the both of them were already connected in their hearts and minds. At this moment, Ling Tian was only worried that Ling Chen wasn't thinking clearly. What if he took her virginity when she wasn't in the right state of mind? If that was the case, it would definitely be a huge regret for the both of them. But for a country toppling beauty to be right in his embrace being filled with such intentions, Ling Tian, as a normal man, could not help but have a strong reaction. At this moment, Ling Chen suddenly opened her eyes and looked at Ling Tian with deep emotions as she mumbled, Young Noble, take me. Chenner's body should have long belonged to Young Noble. Ling Yan licked his lips as his mouth turned dry, Chenner, are you sure that you won't regret this? Ling Chen shook her head resolutely, even if Chenner will be abandoned mercilessly by young noble in future, Chenner will definitely not regret it. The mountain has no corners, heaven and earth are one. The thunder of winter rumbles and the rain of summer drizzle. 
I will never regret my decision. Just when Ling Chen was about to reply her, Ling Chen hugged his neck and kissed Ling Tian's lips. An explosion went off in Ling Tian's head as his arrogance and composure disappeared completely at this moment. Hugging Ling Chen's delicate body, he gave her a deep kiss. Who knows when, and who knows who initiated it, but the clothes on both of them began to decrease. Finally, Ling Tian and Ling Chen's naked bodies were tangled up together as they lay down on the bed. Ling Chen's eyes were shut tightly, exposing her pure and fairy-like body completely to her beloved man. As her eyelashes twitched, her face turned bright red. She then felt Ling Tian kissing her clumsily on her forehead, nose, lips. Moving lower and lower. She could then feel a warm hand gently caressing all of her forbidden zones which no one had ever seen before in the past 17 years of her life. All of a sudden, Ling Chen felt her chest land into a pair of large hands, being played with by the pair of hands. Ling Chen could feel that her arrogance was completely transformed in the hands of her beloved. She then could not help but let out a gentle moan. Finally, she could feel a warm body above her as a pair of hands explored her body. Ling Chen could then feel a warm breath on her chest followed by a ticklish feeling. With her eyes still shut tight, Ling Chen stretched out her limbs and held on to her beloved's waist. As though Ling Tian felt a sense of encouragement, he lowered his head and caught on to a pink sherry. Another moan from Ling Chen had completely ignited all of Ling Tian's lust. A spring-filled night. Dawn, a few gorgeous multicolored birds chirping joyfully. Ling Tian woke up from his sweet dreams, as memories of the wild night flashed past his head. He then could not help but reveal a gentle smile. By his side, Ling Chen was quietly asleep, with both her arms outside of the blanket. Under the blanket, half of her proud chest was revealed, rising and falling with her breaths. A leg of hers was stuck outside of the blanket as her face seemed to be filled with joy from the previous night. Her brows were slightly furrowed, as though she could still feel the pain of bliss from last night. The corners of her lips were raised up slightly, revealing her satisfaction from presenting her body. A sleeping beauty. Ling Tian looked at her in a daze as a doting smile could be seen on his lips. This lass. As though she could feel Ling Tian staring at her, Ling Chen let out a gentle grunt and opened her eyes. Seeing Ling Tian's handsome face, she couldn't help but be puzzled at why Ling Tian was in her own room. However, she quickly remembered the things that happened last night and her face turned red. With a soft shriek, she ducked into the blanket as her leg was also retracted in. Ling Tian laughed and teased her, my wife. It's time for you to help your husband put on his clothes. Why are you still lying down? Ling Chen then struggled in the blanket and let out a muffled groan. Ling Tian then chuckled as he snuggled under the blanket as well. The next moment, Ling Chen's complaints could be heard for a short while, before nothing could be heard. It was as though someone had blocked her mouth, just not knowing what he used. A long while later. Ling Tian? who was no longer a virgin, put on his clothes in satisfaction. He then mischievously looked at Ling Chen, who was still on the bed. Her black hair covered the pillow as her body was sprawled on the bed, without the strength to even lift up her fingers. Her eyes darted around and her cheeks were red as she panted softly. Ling Chen, who was finally Ling Tian's woman, emanated an indescribable beauty at this moment as Ling Tian was filled with the urge to pounce forward. Using great willpower while chanting Buddhist scriptures, Ling Tian put on his clothes with great difficulty. From his past life until now, this was probably the first time he felt that putting on his clothes could be something so difficult. Walking out of the room, Ling Tian stretched his body as a satisfied smile could be seen on his face. He then sat under the rack of grapes as per usual. The rain had just stopped and the gentle morning breeze could be felt. The green vines of the grapes scrawled all over the rack as bunches of bright yellow flowers could be seen swaying in the winds, looking as though they would bear fruit at any moment. A few flowers growing towards the sun were already withered as a few pea-sized green grapes could be seen. 
As Ling Tian looked at it, he felt as though he could taste them in his mouth and immediately understood what it meant to quench his thirst by staring at the plum. Closing his eyes, Ling Tian couldn't help but think about the warmth he felt from last night. He then laughed as he said with a self-mocking tone, a 40-plus year old virgin from my two lives. It really wasn't easy to get rid of that hat. Soft footsteps could then be heard walking over gently. Without even opening his eyes, Ling Tian could already tell how gentle and refined the owner of these footsteps was. He then giggled in his heart, some music fanatic is probably here to find Master Ling Chen. Suddenly, he was stunned about the sensitivity of his hearing. The footsteps were still 300 feet away and he was actually able to hear them so clearly. Furthermore, he was even able to read the personality of the person. This was just too incredulous. Was this the might of the ninth level of the divine shocking dragon formula? Or was this the might of a Xian Tian cultivator? Following a soft cough, a beautiful figure appeared at the doorstep. It was Zhou Yanzu. Chapter 180, A Proper Title Seeing Ling Tian, Zhou Yanzu began to frown, as though she was considering something. However, she still chose to enter the yard, young noble Ling, is Sister Chen. Miss Chen here? Zhou Yanzu was indeed a music fanatic. Ever since she realized that Ling Chen was a master of music, she would definitely find Ling Chen for a few pointers whenever Ling Tian was out. You have to understand that Ling Chen was personally taught by Ling Tian, not only in a single aspect but in all areas of the arts. She was well versed in music, calligraphy, and painting, not losing out to the talented ladies of the capital. By just displaying any of the legendary exclusive songs that Ling Tian taught her, it was more than sufficient for her to look at those from her generation with contempt. Zhou Yanzu would naturally admire her as well. In these few days, the both of them warmly addressed each other as sisters. Ling Chen was older than Zhou Yanzu by two years and so she called Ling Chen her elder sister. Zhou Yanzu was the same age as Ling Tian, two years younger than Ling Chen. It was also no surprise that Zhou Yanzu was frowning. Usually, Ling Tian would be out by this time already. At the same time, Ling Yan's image now was just too unsightly. Leaning against the bamboo chair, with his legs crossed and pointing to the sky and the pinkish base of his feet swaying gently. Just how did a fairy like Sister Chen endure living with such a despicable person? With a no, Ling Tian put down his feet gently as he said to Zhou Yanzu calmly, that last Chenner is probably still sleeping. That lass has always been extremely lazy. Didn't the both of you become sworn sisters? How come you don't know about that? His words were filled with mockery, without displaying the slightest bit of welcome for a beauty like Zhou Yanzu. In fact, his words were even filled with impatience. This was also no surprise. After all, he was an old man who finally got rid of his virginity. Or perhaps, he should still be called a young man. After all, Ling Tian was still 16 in this life of his. Just when he was high-spirited, an outsider actually came to ask for his wife. It would be a wonder if he could treat her well. Zhou Yanzu then grunted and thought to herself, only a scum like you is lazy. How can Sister Chen be lazy? She then said with disdain, then can young noble Ling tell me where Miss Chen is? Ling Tian pointed casually at his own room with a mischievous smile. Zhou Yanzu grunted and walked past Ling Tian without even looking at him. Ling Tian then shut his eyes as his ears followed Zhou Yanzu's footsteps. He then heard her walking towards the door and knocking gently. A barely audible groan could then be heard from inside the room. After hesitating for a while, Zhou Yanzu thought that there shouldn't be anything wrong since they were both ladies. Thinking about how Ling Chen's groan sounded weak, she became worried and walked in immediately. Ah! Ah! Two shrieks could then be heard at the same time. With a swift motion, Zhou Yanzu quickly slammed the door with a bright red face and heavy panting. Embarrassment filled her eyes as she glared at Ling Tian while scolding, despicable. 
Shameless. Thinking for a moment, she added on, hoodlum. Scum. Lecher. She then rushed out of Ling Tian's courtyard with her face still burning red. When she went in, she saw Ling Chen getting up slowly with shyness as she put on her clothes slowly. That flawless body of hers was actually filled with lip marks all over her and the room filled with a special type of smell. While Zhou Yanzu was still a virgin, she still had a certain understanding towards such matters. The moment she entered the room, she immediately understood what happened last night. Being a virgin, she naturally escaped in embarrassment and frustration. After scolding this silk pants in front of her who had a mischievous smile, she dashed back to her room immediately. Her heart was still thumping as she grit her teeth and scolded, hoodlum. A few times. In her heart, Ling Chen was like a fairy, beautiful and wise to the point she could not even hold a candle to Ling Chen. However, she actually fell into the hands of a silk pants like Ling Tian. Thinking about that, she could not help but let out a sigh of regret, pouring herself a cup of tea. Just when she was about to drink it, she was suddenly stunned as she thought about something strange. Thinking about the matter carefully, Zhou Yanzu finally understood what was wrong. Before today, Ling Chen was obviously a virgin like herself. Furthermore, Ling Chen's frail appearance was just like a virgin who had just lost her virginity. Thinking about that, she could not help but be startled. Don't tell me. Such a beautiful lady actually stayed with Ling Tian for a full ten years but only lost her virginity yesterday? Even if it was because of his age, he shouldn't have waited until now. Zhou Yanzu was certain that no guy would be able to resist a beauty like Ling Chen. No guy would be able to hold himself back for a few years before eating Ling Chen up for sure. Perhaps, it was because Ling Tian was young before and did not take action? However, even she wasn't too certain about that. After all, a normal guy would definitely take action on the first night a beauty like her enters his room. For a 12 to 13 year old boy taking action in the bedroom, this was nothing special in an aristocratic family. In front of such a beauty free for his taking, Ling Tian was actually able to hold himself back for three years at the very least. More than three years of holding back. What kind of a concept was this? How could a silk pants young noble like him do that? Not to mention an infamous silk pants like Ling Tian, perhaps a refined scholar wouldn't be able to hold back for so long. Don't tell me. He had really concealed himself so deeply. A thought suddenly surfaced. Zhou Yanzu's thoughts then drifted to the black dressed man who saved her in the rain previously. That cold and calm pair of eyes. She then thought about Ling Tian riding past her with anxiousness in his eyes and a thought sprung out, it can't be him right? Zhou Yanzu then shook her head and mumbled in a daze, how can that be possible? How can it be him? He obviously doesn't know martial arts at all. However, both the figures grew clearer and clearer in her heart, and Zhou Yanzu grew frustrated. Looking at Zhou Yanzu retreating, Ling Tian couldn't help but smile. A wave of fragrance was then carried by the wind as Ling Chen sprinted out with tear-filled eyes and a reddened face. Her actions seemed extremely inelegant, obviously still unable to walk properly. Her small fists then showered on to Ling Tian, you bad 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 bad. You are just too bad. How am I still going to face her next time after being seen like that? Woo woo woo. Ling Tian laughed as he caught Ling Chen's hands and replied with a smile, So what if that last sees you? Didn't she call you sister already? You now know what it means to be shy? Last night you were so. As Ling Chen heard that, her face was turned red to the point blood seemed to be oozing out. She then snatched her hand out from Ling Tian's hands and began to beat Ling Tian again. Her teeth were clenched as she almost cried from the embarrassment and frustration. Ling Tian laughed before saying seriously, Chen'er, do you really not know my intentions? Ling Chen then let out a grunt as she stomped her feet on the ground. However, the pain from last night had not subsided yet, and she let out a soft moan. Ling Tian then gave a profound smile, Chen'er, 
You are already my woman and I must definitely give you a proper explanation. While you have served me since you were young, you are my maid and not concubine after all, and there is a huge difference in status. Since Zhou Yanzu saw the matters between us and she is so close to grandmother and mother, the both of them will probably find out very soon. Ah, uh, at that time, won't it save us a lot of effort? I can't just let you follow me without any proper title. I definitely have to give you a proper title at the very least. But, do you expect me to find my grandmother or mother to tell them that I did it with you last night? Before he finished, Ling Chen had already covered his mouth and her eyes were filled with warmth. Young noble, I understand. I understand your intentions. Ling Tian frowned and pretended to be angry, you're still calling me young noble? It's time for you to call me husband. If you are not going to change the way you address me, your husband will have to use the family laws on you. Ling Chen frowned lovably as her face turned red. While she wanted to call him that, she just could not bring herself to do it. Thus, she let out a whine and dived into Ling Yan's embrace. She then said, what family laws, I'm not afraid. You're really not afraid? A weird smile could be seen on Ling Tian's face. I'm not afraid. Ling Chen stared at Ling Tian without backing down, only to see a crafty pair of eyes looking back at her. All right. Ling Tian praised her. He then stood up and hugged Ling Chen, it is still early and I will bring my dear Chenner back to the room for another 300 rounds. Ling Chen's countenance lost all color. After just losing her virginity, she had barely made it past last night. Up until now, her body was still weak and even walking was a chore for her. How would she be able to endure another round of pampering? She couldn't help but plead for mercy. Chapter 181, Borrowing Someone Ling Tian ignored her completely, hugging Ling Chen all the way to the doorstep. Right when he was about to enter the bedroom, Ling Chen was already helpless. Thus, she plucked up her courage and whispered to Ling Tian in his ears, husband. At the same time, her face and neck were already completely red. Ling Tian then twitched his ears and asked with doubt, Chenner, what did you say, I didn't hear you clearly. Ling Chen whined and saw that Ling Tian stood there without any actions. Helpless, she could only approach Ling Tian's ears again. Just when she was about to say that word again, Ling Tian suddenly turned around, staring at her in the eyes, Chenner, it's best you tell it to me in the face. I'll be able to hear clearly like that. Chenner dived into Ling Tian's embrace bashfully, refusing to lift up her head. A long while later, she let out a soft cry, husband. Ling Yan laughed, I finally heard it. Chenner, thankfully this young noble's martial arts just achieved a breakthrough. If not, it would probably be difficult for me to hear you. Er, Siai. Have mercy on me, my dear wife. Being filled with embarrassment from Ling Tian forcing her, Ling Chen grabbed onto Ling Tian's waist with two of her fingers and pinched hard. Hearing Ling Tian call her wife, she suddenly felt a wave of elation and shyness. At the same time, she felt emotional in her heart, finally having what she wanted after so many years of waiting. That sense of emotion overwhelmed her as she began to whimper in Ling Yan's embrace. Ling Tian then stroked her hair gently and let out a long sigh, the pitiful but outstanding lady is willing to be my concubine. I have really let Chenner down. These words of his were not said to make Ling Chen happy but from the bottom of his heart. With Ling Chen's talents and looks, she was more than worthy to be Ling Tian's first wife if she was born in a more prestigious family. However, they were constrained by the customs of the world, determining Ling Chen's pitiful fate. Even if she married Ling Yan as a concubine, it would be considered as a glorious path for her. Hearing what Ling Tian said, Ling Chen slowly stopped crying as a sense of satisfaction filled her heart, as long as young noble treasures Chen'er, that is more than enough. Chen'er never dared to wish extravagantly. As long as young noble doesn't chase Chen'er away, Chen'er will accompany young noble forever. Even if I have to be your maid for my whole lifetime, I will have no regrets. 
Ling Tian then stroked her hair gently and let out a depressed sigh. Light footsteps could then be heard and Ling Tian said with a frown, why is she back again? Indeed, Zhou Yanzu appeared again. However, she had a different attitude towards Ling Tian this time, looking at Ling Tian with a slightly investigative look. Ling Tian then let Ling Chen down, allowing her to lean on him. As a new bride, this was the time where she would be the shyest. Thus, she buried her face in Ling Tian's chest and refused to be seen. Ling Tian smiled and looked towards Zhou Yanzu with a questioning gaze, this is already the second time Miss Zhou has been here and your sincerity is obvious. I wonder what kind of teachings you are here to bestow upon me? Zhou Yanzu smiled and said, Yanzu came here without notice, wishing that young noble Ling will be magnanimous. I wish to seek a small favor from Sister Chen, I wonder what young noble thinks about that? Oh? Ling Tian's brows furrowed, help? What help? Our Chenner isn't feeling too well and we can forget about it if the matter is a strenuous one. Then, he walked into the room and shifted two bamboo chairs out personally. Putting them below the rack of grapes, he invited Zhou Yanzu to take a seat. He then prepared tea and placed a glass in front of her. Since Zhou Yanzu is here to borrow someone, the Zhou family is definitely going to make a move. But with Chenar concealing her true strength so well, what kind of help will they want from Chenar? Why don't I make use of this opportunity to fish for some information? Let's see how that Zhou lass reacts first. Ling Chen wanted to get up to help but Ling Tian helped her back into the chair immediately. Her face turned red as she looked at Ling Tian with satisfaction filling her heart. Zhou Yanzu's impression changed slightly again, looking at Ling Chen with a tinge of envy. You have to understand, as the number one person of her generation, how could Zhou Yanzu be an ordinary person? For her to befriend Ling Chen, half of the reason was from admiration of her skills, while the other half was the intention to bring Ling Chen over to her side. No matter how talented Ling Chen was, Ling Chen was still a servant and even had to serve a silk pants master like Ling Tian. If she could promise Ling Chen freedom, it might be possible to bring Ling Chen over to her side. It was only because she had such thoughts that she befriended Ling Chen. But from the bashful look on Ling Chen's face, everything changed immediately. No matter how talented Ling Chen was, Ling Chen wasn't a virgin anymore, becoming someone by Ling Tian's bedside. There was no longer any hope for her to bring over Ling Chen. Zhou Yanzu then let out a regretful sigh. After pausing for a moment, she got back to the main point, first, Yanzu has already gained the approval of old madam. After the various powers enter the sky-bearing city, we will hold an auction in the Ling family to sell seven heavenly treasures we brought. Second. Yanzu wishes to take this chance to exchange some pointers with Sister Chen in music. I hope that Sister Chen won't be stingy with her teachings. Third. There's still a third? Ling Tian asked with his mouth opened wide, your Zhou family still isn't finished yet? You guys really have to work your workers to death? How can I let my Chenner be trampled upon like that? Seeing Zhou Yanzu roll her eyes in dissatisfaction, Ling Tian held his hands up in surrender, all right all right all right, carry on talking. I'm all ears. At this moment, Zhou Yanzu had the urge to give this fellow a good beating. Just why is Sister Chen willing to give herself to such a scum? With a snort, she continued, third, I heard that the number one talent of the Ziman family, Ziman King, is here at the sky-bearing city. Ziman King? Before Zhou Yanzu could continue, Ling Tian interrupted her. That's right, Ziman King. Zhou Yanzu didn't notice that Ling Tian pronounced the word king differently, as she looked at Ling Tian with a weird expression, why does he have such a huge reaction? Ling Tian's eyes were wide open in shock. Damn it, this world actually has a Ziman King. He is even a talent. I wonder if there'll be a Pan Jin Lian? Ziman King is extremely talented, proficient in all poetry, songs, zither, calligraphy, and painting. 
the Ziemen family organized a scholarly meeting on purpose, gathering all the talents on the continent for a competition. Furthermore, Ziemen King is an extremely competitive person. According to his usual habits, he will definitely challenge every family for sure. This little sister isn't talented and can probably withstand a round or two in the areas of calligraphy and painting. However, Ziemen King's achievements in music are outstanding and this little sister isn't a match for him. In the sky-bearing city, only Sister Chen will have the chance to beat him. So, Ling Tian finally understood that he had misheard the pronunciation of the name. He then could not help but ask, if I lend Ling Chen to you, what will my Ling family do? I believe my Ling family has to participate in it as well, right? Zhou Yanzu was first stunned before covering her mouth with giggles. Her giggles were filled with endless disdain. While she did not say anything, her meaning was clear, a silk pants like you wants to participate in that scholarly meeting? Do you deserve it? A ball of anger rose in Ling Tian's heart. Looking at Zhou Yanzu's smile of disdain, Ling Tian had an urge to punch her. You actually dare to say something like that in my Ling family? Zhou family, he he he, aren't you guys a little too arrogant? Young noble doesn't wish to lend her? Or are you afraid that your Ling family won't have the guts to participate in the meeting without Miss Chen? Zhou Yanzu's attitude took a sudden change, being extremely overbearing and forceful. Not to mention Ling Tian, even Ling Chen, who was in Ling Tian's embrace, could not help but look up with anger in her eyes. HMPH, you actually dare to insult my husband like that? Sisters? Ch I won't show you any face even if we are sisters. It won't be a big deal to let Last Chen help you guys for a few days, Ling Tian said, but she isn't well at the moment. She will only be able to go a few days later. The next moment, Ling Tian had already suppressed his anger. Being his second lifetime, Ling Tian's mental state was already extremely mature. Zhou Yanzu then gave a bow, then I will have to thank the young noble for fulfilling my wish. When she lowered her head, her eyes narrowed immediately. Grandfather is indeed right. Ling Tian, this silk pants-like fellow is indeed extraordinary. Even with my provocations, he is actually able to remain so calm. When she raised her head again, her eyes contained a different look, if that's the case, Yan Zhu will be here a few days later to invite Sister Chen personally. Yan Zhu will take her leave. Wait a moment, Miss Zhou. Ling Tian called out to her with a smile in his eyes as he asked, Miss Zhou, I wonder what are the seven heavenly treasures your family is going to auction? Can you reveal some nuggets of information to me? Zhou Yanzu pretended to hesitate before saying, it wouldn't matter if I tell young noble Ling. Anyway, these items only exist in the legends and most people in the world are only seeing the sky from a well. There are just far too few knowledgeable people who will know about such things. The meaning of her words was obvious, I don't think a silk pants like you will know anyway. Telling it to you is no more than playing a harp to a cow. You probably won't be able to tell good from bad anyway. This was another investigative intent by Zhou Yanzu. Fighting with this lady? HMPH HMPH, just see how this lady here will dig up all of your roots. This lady here is the famous Jianan Feng. As though Ling Tian didn't catch the sarcasm in Zhou Yanzu's words, he replied with interest. Then I will really have to ask for a few pointers from Miss Zhou so I can widen my horizons. A cold glare then flashed past his eyes as he thought to himself, is this last trying to test me? Chapter 182, Seven Treasures Zhou Yanzu then avoided Ling Tian's gaze as she said, the first item is a rare treasure, a type of wood. The wood is from the peak of the North Pole Snow Mountain, a rare soul freezing sandal wood. Apart from its unique smell and sleep-inducing effect, a small two-feet piece of soul-freezing sandalwood would chill a room in summer. If it is made into a container, any item placed within it wouldn't rot in a hundred years. Furthermore, as long as one places a small piece of it on himself, 
he will be able to protect himself from all poisonous bugs. Ling Tian responded with a no as he thought to himself, this soul-freezing sandalwood was probably prepared for the Nan Gong family, right? It is indeed the best choice of material to make a coffin. Now that the weather is getting warmer, even the transfer of Nan Gongla's body will become an issue. But with this wood, they would be able to send him back to Southern Zhen easily. At the very least, his body will not smell. But to use such a good item on Nan Gongla, Ling Tian felt that it was a pity, regardless of what kind of contributions he had made. However, Ling Tian still said, good item, I will definitely go and take a look. The weather is getting warmer, and the summer will be much more bearable with this item. Zhou Yan Zhu chuckled, I will definitely invite someone as knowledgeable as young noble Ling when the time comes. Ling Tian nodded his head in response, MMM, I will definitely be there. The second item is also a rare treasure, found at the same place as the soul freezing sandal wood. In the depths of the North Pole, this millennium warm jade was found. For a warm item to appear in the freezing North Pole, it is really a wonder of the world. The millennium warm jade can calm one's mind and is extremely beneficial to a martial artist. As Zhou Yan Zhu was talking, she glanced to observe Ling Tian's expression. Ling Tian responded with a MMM as his face was still filled with excitement. However, he thought to himself in his heart, goodness, it is actually the millennium warm jade. Calming one's mind is only one of its many uses. This is definitely a rare treasure. Despite remaining calm on the surface, Ling Chen felt her heart beating faster. She had once heard her young noble praise the Millennium Warm Jade before. To an ordinary person, this treasure was extremely useful, capable of protecting one from the cold and able to extend one's lifespan. Especially to someone like Ling Chen who cultivated in a pure yin type of cultivation method, this was a priceless treasure. You have to understand that a lady's body is yin in nature, and Ling Chen had a pure yin constitution. While her constitution would speed up her cultivation speed, there is a limit to everything in the world with detrimental effects at the limits. While Ling Chen's cultivation speed was a good thing, there were grave dangers which accompanied it as well. Since Ling Chen's cultivation was still shallow, the dangers had yet to surface. If she was able to keep a piece of Millennium Warm Jade by her side, it would definitely negate all ill effects in her body and be of great help to her. The third item was also found at the same place as the first two item. These three items were found on the same day and it can also be said to be the will of the heavens. Back then, there was a sudden avalanche and the only lucky survivor managed to find these three items. At the peak of the suspense, Zhou Yan Zhu suddenly began to beat around the bush, intentionally keeping him in suspense. Lifting up her teacup, she took a sip and stopped talking. Ling Tian let out a chuckle and decided to fulfill the wishes of this petty lass, what is that item? Zhou Yan Zhu let out a delightful smile, feeling as though she had won a round, it is the Ice Fire Lotus. Ling Tian was startled. Ice Fire Lotus. He never imagined it would be the Ice Fire Lotus. The reason why he had yet to start refining the Great Cyclic Pill was because of the lack of a fire type herb which grows in a place of extreme coldness. Ling Tian had long sent men out to search for it and spent a large fortune to try and purchase it on the continent. However, how could a heavenly treasure like this be found so easily? Ling Yan originally thought that it would have been great if he could even use the freezing autumn fiery flame grass to replace it. However, he never imagined that the Zhou family actually had a legendary item like the Ice Fire Lotus. The Ice Fire Lotus was more than twice as effective than the freezing autumn fiery flame grass. If the Great Cyclic Pill was refined with the Ice Fire Lotus, its effects would definitely be much more potent. A mysterious smile could then be seen on Ling Tian's face. It seems that I will definitely have to go to the Zhou family's auction. Not only do I have to obtain the Ice Fire Lotus, I must also get the Millennium Warm Jade as well. The fourth item is the Sky Blue Serene Gem, found deep in the Southern Sea. 
Zhou Yanzu said with an exaggerated tone, as though she was extremely fond of the sky blue serene gem. Ling Tian snickered in his heart as the corner of his lips curled up in disdain. The sky blue serene gem was a beautiful gemstone which would let out a turquoise glow in the light, resplendent and mystical. It was an extremely rare treasure most suited to make jewelry out of it, and it was indeed something which all ladies loved. However, this was the only thing special about it and it didn't have any practical uses at all. In Ling Tian's eyes, this was nothing more than a special stone. The fifth item is the fist-sized Southern Sea's seven-colored sandalwood pearl. From the ancient times until now, such a large Southern Sea's seven-colored sandalwood pearl has never been seen before. It is definitely not an exaggeration to call it a priceless treasure. The pride in Zhou Yanzu's tone was not concealed in the slightest. Ling Tian shook his head and did not reply. At the same time, he sighed in his heart. However, Ling Chen seemed to be extremely interested in it. Seeing that Zhou Yanzu did not describe the item, she couldn't help but feel a little depressed as she thought to herself, does this Miss Zhou not know the use of this treasure? Young Noble had once said that in the hands of an ordinary person, this is no more than a precious material. But a person who knows the true value of this item would definitely know that this treasure is the nemesis of all poisons in the world. As long as it is soaked in wine, the wine will turn into a miracle solution capable of curing any poison in the world. The sixth item is a piece of black iron. It is 175 caddies heavy and. As she wanted to describe the black iron, she began to stutter because she was completely clueless about its origin and usage. Everyone knew that while the black iron was the most suitable item for forging weapons, ordinary methods were completely incapable of melting it. It was an extremely difficult task to even change the shape of the black iron. The Zhou family had already tried countless methods that yielded no results at all. The way Zhou Yanzu saw it, this item was completely useless and she had no idea why her grandfather asked her to bring it along. However, she didn't know that Zhou Feng Han had never given up on infiltrating the weapons factory that Ling Tian took from him. In the first few years, he was still able to receive some news from the factory. But in recent years, not a single piece of information left that factory. The only thing Zhou Feng Han knew was that the craftsmanship of the weapons factory was constantly improving by observing the weapons sold from the factory. This also made Zhou Feng Han more and more curious. By letting Zhou Yanzu bring the black iron to the sky-bearing city, it was his intention to test Ling Tian. If Ling Tian obtained the black iron, it would mean that his skills in weapon forging were far higher than those of the Zhou family. If that was really the case, Zhou Feng Han would have to reevaluate Ling Tian's strength. A light flashed in Ling Yan's eyes. Black iron. Zhou Feng Han you old fox. Apart from testing my weapons factory, what other motives can you possibly have? HMPH HMPH, how would I let things go your way? However, Ling Tian was determined to obtain the black iron. While the weapons of his subordinates were top-notch, they were not divine weapons. By melding three caddies of black iron into a weapon, an ordinary weapon would turn into a sharp weapon. The black iron brought by the Zhou family was more than enough to equip everyone in the first pavilion with a divine weapon. This would definitely raise the strength of the first pavilion by many folds. How was it possible for Ling Tian to not be tempted? As for the seventh treasure, it is the Heaven Splitter, sort of above Heaven Sect Master, Yin Ju Kong, from the Heavenly Sun Continent. There is a rumor that there is a Heaven Shaking secret hidden within the Heaven Splitter. The person capable of obtaining the Heaven Splitter would be the Master of the Heavens. After describing all seven treasures, Zhou Yanzu felt her mouth become dry and took a large gulp of tea. Heaven Splitter Ling Tian sneered in his heart. So this is the true plan of the Zhou family. Their true scheme. The Zhou family actually dares to take the Heaven Splitter out openly. The ambitions of the Zhou family are obviously exposed in this trip to the sky-bearing city. For a thousand years, 
Despite not knowing who the Heaven Splitter belonged to, the rumor of ruling the world with the Heaven Splitter had already been branded into everyone's heart. This sword was no longer a mere weapon. It had already turned into a symbol. For the peaks Yan Tian sect master of above heavens to perish in battle, Ling Tian was certain that it was definitely related to the meaning of the sword. But would one really be able to rule the world with this heaven splitter? Ling Tian could not help but be reminded of the jade disc of he from twin of brothers in his previous life. He sneered in his heart, greed will always be the root of all evil. This sword is only a tool to incite chaos in the world. The saying of being the ruler of the world is no more than nonsense. Chapter 183, Bing Yan's Report Ling Tian could imagine clearly, with the Zhou family taking out Heaven Splitter to incite the sky-bearing meat, what sort of blood calamity would befall the lands. To have something that would incite the greed and envy of all martial artists, how many ambitions of the young heroes would they have inevitably stirred? Once the fight for it started, the Zhou family only needed to discreetly fan the flames for an explosion of epic proportions. A raging forest fire which would span the entire continent. This was the definite conclusion. In order to claim the Heaven Splitter as theirs, claiming the intangible title of Master of the Heavens, every empire's monarch would definitely spare no effort to wage war on the others. Cooperation was impossible because just as the skies do not have two suns, an empire cannot hold two monarchs, and thus there can only be one master of the heaven. By the time they were done contesting for the heaven splitter, all the various empires would have their vitality seriously wounded. It could even spell the death of some of the weaker empires. At that time, the number one financial magnate, the Zhou family, would shine. Just when everyone was at their weakest, the flag of the Zhou family would soar high as they begin their conquest to overthrow the balance of all the countries. If this plan was brought to fruition, then the Zhou family's ambition to conquer the entire continent would be accomplished in the shortest time. Tossing out such an irresistible bait, the resulting chain reaction would definitely be of epic proportions. What a vicious, yet ingenious plan! The beauty of the plan was that while all the major powers understood this was a ploy from the Zhou family, they still had no choice but to jump into the trap. Anyone who laid their hands on the Heaven Splitter would have their fame and power soar to new heights, and likewise, anyone who was weaker would be completely eliminated. Even if one didn't want to obtain the Heaven Splitter, they couldn't afford to allow their enemies to obtain it. This was the mentality of all the major powers. Zhou Yanzu was scrutinizing Ling Tian's response but found out that he was only nodding and agreeing, a nonchalant expression on his face. Not a single trace of his thoughts was revealed, making her a little frustrated. As such, she blurted out the secret of the Heaven Splitter in frustration. Since it was going to be auctioned out in a few days, where was the harm in revealing some insider information? Little did she realize that after saying the words Heaven Splitter, Ling Tian's smiley face immediately vanished, replaced with a solemn expression. His sword-like brows raised up a little, seemingly resembling two slumbering dragons that had finally gotten rid of the chains on their body, taking off to the skies once again. You finally revealed yourself. Zhou Yanzu was originally elated, but received a rude shock upon seeing the change. The moment Ling Tian's eyebrows were raised, he suddenly seemed distant and aloof, with boundless killing intent surrounding him. It was only for an instant however, and Ling Tian had already returned to his original self, beaming cheerfully, that is indeed a good treasure, ha ha. Ms. Zhou, I'll remember to bring more silver there on the day so I can buy a few of these items back. Um, I'll display them at the main hall so everyone that pays a visit to my Ling residence can feast their eyes upon them. Ha ha ha. This is worth waiting for. Zhou Yanzu left coldly to herself, still pretending. However, she replied with, that's only natural. If that's the case, then the Ling family businesses will shoot through the skies. Little sister here hopes that all of young noble's wishes will come true. Ling Tian only continued smiling at her. 
he had long known that the little lass had already discovered something amiss and was well aware and in control at the time he revealed himself. He refrained from talking, merely looking at how long the little lass planned to continue playing this facade with him. Zhou Yanzu was stared at till her face flushed red and her heart beat wildly. Not knowing what to do, she picked up her teacup but was at a loss as to what she should do next. While her intelligence and wit were beyond an ordinary person, she was after all still an unwed lady, to have a man such as Ling Tian staring hungrily at her, how could she not be shy? She was about to leave, but Ling Tian suddenly spoke in a teasing tone, as though he remembered something, my dear Miss Zhou, why are you leaving like that? Didn't you speak about how the items this time were fascinating? Why are you not promoting them? Selling isn't done like this, how could you only leave me with such vague descriptions? Zhou Yanzu was both flustered and panicked and flew into a rage at his words. This was because Ling Tian's words indicated that she was selling a story about how flowers were fragrant, which was praising her own products. Furthermore, he commented that she couldn't fully explain in detail the various treasures that they were selling. However, given Yanzu's intelligence and memory, this was the first time someone commented that her knowledge was a lacking, so how could she not be angry? Zhou Yanzu left coldly as she replied, Vig? From what it seems, young noble Ling has in-depth knowledge of some of the treasures I've mentioned. So how about you enlighten this little sister here? Ling Tian smiled calmly as he replied, Let's not talk about the rest first, you mentioned the Southern Sea's seven-colored sandalwood pearl. The last it appeared in the human world was a hundred and fifty years ago, and it saved. Ha ha ha. His words abruptly stopped, replaced with a meaningful laugh which made Zhou Yanzu uncomfortable. Zhou Yanzu was actually listening with rapt attention, and upon hearing how Ling Tian came to such an ambiguous ending, she immediately felt that Ling Tian was making a fool out of her. She replied in a hateful tone young noble Ling doesn't need to say any more. If you had intended to speak properly, Yan Zhu would have been filled with gratitude towards you. But if you were planning to make a fool out of me, then young noble had better have a good explanation. Ling Tian laughed coldly at this, explanation? What explanation? I don't like to explain, explain means to cover up, and covering up means there's something hidden that shouldn't be said. Hee hee, since the little miss is so talented, how could you bother to lower yourself to explain to a frog which has never seen the sea? Zhou Yanzu was both embarrassed and angry at this time, as Ling Tian was obviously making a jab at her implication, a frog in the well does not know how vast the sky nor how wide the sea is as revenge. She had provoked him previously by saying that he was poorly read. To think that he not only plotted revenge, but purposefully chose the time when she was at her least guarded moment, causing her to be unable to retort. While Zhou Yanzu was fuming in her heart, she was, after all, someone from a prestigious family. Unlike Ling Tian who was infamous for being a silk pants and did not care a hoot for his bearing, she had a reputation to maintain and thus could not let herself loose like an uncouth brat. Thus, she could only snort angrily and leave. Ling Tian seemed to have not finished talking. Letting out another mischievous smile, he exclaimed, Eh, I suddenly thought of another matter to tell you. Aye, what a shame, what a shame. As he spoke, he actually shook his head and stomped his foot, with a face of melancholy. Zhou Yanzu had no idea what trick he had up his sleeve this time and couldn't help but to put aside the thought of bidding farewell so that she could curiously ask, may I ask what matter is it that leaves young noble in such regret? Ling Tian let out a long sigh, shaking his head with great pretentiousness, I suddenly thought about that fact that we were supposed to be betrothed to each other. We could be said to be childhood sweethearts. AI, if not for that time. I believe you would have already become my wife. For such an unmatched beauty, to let such an opportunity slip past my fingers, isn't that the greatest regret of my life? The moment the words left his mouth, even if Zhou Yanzu had the thickest skin in the world, 
she wouldn't be able to stand it, let alone her delicately thin lady's skin. What a hateful man! You! Zhou Yanzu was moved to anger, her face flushed red. She stomped angrily, but realized that whatever she said would only be used against her even more. As such, she could only throw her teacup hatefully towards Ling Tian, while yelling, You ignorant and worthless skirt chaser, go to hell! She then fled, leaving a fragrance in her wake. Ling Yan guffawed, Take care, don't run too fast, you might twist your ankle. Standing by the side, Ling Chen also let out a laugh. She sweetly replied, Young noble, you provoked, mocked, poked fun of, and embarrassed her totally. Especially the last sentence, that was akin to a Trojan horse. Ms. Zhou is still, after all, a maiden, you did go a little too far this time. Nonsense. Where have I gone too far, I only spoke the truth. Isn't that right? Ling Tian pretended to bluster as he continued. Since when did you start calling me young noble again? Do you want to be punished? As he said, he wagged a finger at her, with an evil smile on his face. I still feel that young noble sounds better on you. If young noble wishes to punish me, then Chen'er can only comply, Ling Chen pressed her body into Ling Tian's bosom. Young noble, the reason why I call you as such is because this term only belongs to me. Even if young noble you have many concubines in the future, only I will be able to address you by the term young noble. A rush of emotion swept Ling Tian away, and he could not resist but hugged her tightly in response. From the door rang out rushed footsteps, it seemed like there were a few people heading towards them. Casting his eyes over, Ling Tian could not help but be startled. That was Yu Bing Yan whom he had not seen in two days. He couldn't help but think, Yu Man Tian should have arrived in Sky Bearing today. Why isn't she with her third uncle and here instead? What important matters could she possibly have? Tian apostrophe G dot e, my third uncle has arrived. The moment she saw Ling Tian, she immediately spat out these words, her breathing labored. Beside her, the Zhu Ling and Zhu brothers had the same bitter smile on their faces, thinking, Miss, this is our Yu family's secret. You just blurted it out for the whole world to hear. If someone who knows the importance of this message hears it, the waves created would not be small, added on to the fact that the third master likes looking for trouble. Oh, so your third uncle is here? Then why are you not accompanying the old man to tour around the city? When I have time, I'll definitely pay him a visit. Ling Yan indulgently patted her hair as he replied, his heart filled with warmth. It seemed like this little princess of the Yu family had completely fallen for him. Compared to Zhou Yan Zhu, Yu Bing Yan had been pampered silly by all her family members because of her illness. Thus, this resulted in her not being exposed to their bullsh tea doctrines and stuff. This resulted in her current pure and flawless attitude. Seeing how she was staring at him with worried eyes, he couldn't help but ask, what has happened exactly? Yu Bing Yan let out an expression as though she was about to cry, third angle. He said he was coming to find trouble with you. This. How could this be? And you, when you see him, you had better not call him old. He hates people saying that the most. He's not even 40, how is that old? Once this sentence was spoken, let alone the Zhu brothers, even Ling Tian and Ling Chen received a rude shock. Ling Chen was surprised by the fact that the Yu family was looking to pick a bone with Ling Tian. With the status of the strongest family, Ling Chen was worried that it would add another layer of worries to Ling Tian. As for the matters yesterday, Ling Tian definitely wouldn't leave behind any clues that would point out his identity to that blockhead. So why was Yu Man Tian looking for him? Unless. Did the Yu family back in Northern Wei discover my true strength? Ling Tian pondered for a long time and settled on this possibility. However, how did he get discovered, and where was the problem? Did they just discover his presence or had they been observing for a long time? Ling Tian groaned inwardly. From the looks of it, the Yu family weren't simpletons. Oh, it's probably nothing much. After all, 
I'm a toad lusting after a swan's meat, maybe that's why your third uncle isn't too happy with me? No problem, I'll make sure to treat the old man well with some good drinks and dissipate his anger. Wouldn't that solve the problem? Ling Tian's sentence made Yu Bing Yan not know whether to laugh or cry. Stomping her foot in embarrassment, she pouted, told you that you can't call him old man. You're always fooling around. I'm reminding you out of goodwill, okay? Haha, ha, when am I not serious? Anyways, since your uncle wants to find trouble with me, why are you disclosing this secret to me? Ling Tian laughed and made fun of her. Yu Bing Yan burst out into laughter as she said, What secret? You put it across so badly, it seems like I'm betraying my family. How hateful. The Zhu brothers at the side were stunned speechless, thinking, My dear princess, dear Bodhisattva. If your behavior isn't considered as disclosing a secret, then what is it? Furthermore, the one you're betraying is our third master, a core member of the family. If it was any ordinary person, he would have been dragged out to be drowned in hot oil, but here you are speaking as though reason is on your side. 